watching part of our Strokestra at Home series, bringing you fun, music-based activities from our award-winning Strokestra program. Each video features an activity specially designed with our clinical partners to meet the needs of stroke patients working towards recovery, but that are also fun and useful for anyone craving some gentle movement while at home. Please remember to take care when joining in and only move as far or fast as is comfortable for you. Hi, in this video we're going to be doing some uh, marching. Now this is the marching that we do very often uh, towards the start of the sessions in uh, Strokestra uh, as part of the RPO uh, Strokestra program and um, uh, it, it's great for a whole range of things. Um, one of the things is it starts to get the body moving, uh, it connects to the music which is very important for us in our program. We're moving our, uh, l uh, our legs our ankles, our feet, and our arms, and our back as well in this exercise. Now, for those of you that have goals that you're working on, what's very important with this and with all the exercises that um, we do in these videos uh, is that you remember what your goals are and use these exercises to work towards your goals. Uh, the second very important thing is, whatever I do, make sure it works for you. Don't overdo it. Don't do anything that's uh, uh, creating any kind of bad pain for you. And uh, don't, stre don't feel you need to stretch or move as far or as fast as I'm doing in these exercises. Now, first thing, I want you to sit in uh, what for you is good posture. This means different things to different people, depending on how your body is. Uh, I'm sat on quite a firm chair here. I'm sat towards the front of the chair, which I'm, I'm certainly I'm not leaning back onto the chair uh, here. And I've got my feet free to move. Now, with the marching, I can, uh, I can march just with one foot. And one leg. Here my whole leg's coming off the ground, but I could just use the, uh, the ball or the, the heel. The ball or the heel. I could march that way. I could march this way. Some people like to rock back and forth like that when they're marching. For me, I'm going to be using my two feet like this. And then I'm going to be putting my arms into it as well. I quite like this one. I'm feeling a good stretch at my back when I do that. Okay, now for this we're going to be joined by uh, the very wonderful uh, Gerald Kirby, uh, one of the, our incredible percussionists in the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. He's sat either here or here, depending on how we've set the video up for you. And um, he's playing the snare drum, which is in front of him. Now there's nothing Gerald loves more than to play a march, a military march. And um, he, uh, uh, he loves to play this around 108, 112, uh, sometimes a little bit faster. He's feeling chirpy. Now I'm going to set up... The tempo of this with my metronome here so i'm going to set him up uh, uh 108 so let's hope that uh, gerald's um happy uh with that and just keep up with us gerald's going to join in with the snare with the marching all together and might be as much to go just like that. This might be enough. Let's try to put a bit of arm movement. much as you feel you want to. Don't overdo it. Let's double the speed. Let's double the speed. Half the speed. Half the speed. Half 
the speed. Double the speed. Double the speed. Double the speed. Half the speed. So there we go, there's our marching. Um, give it another go, uh, try it in a different way. If you've got somebody in your house with you who can play some pots and pans with some wooden spoons to keep a groove, to keep a beat, then do that. We'll be looking at exactly how to make that work really well in another video. Good luck, don't overdo it. Okay.